Hi, my name is Sindhu Tantra. I'm an artist living in between London and Bali, Indonesia. Welcome to Kristen Yadiyada Gallery here in London Bridge, where I have my solo show, Modern Times. Modern Times is taken inspiration from Charlie Chaplin film in 1936 where he has quite a critical portrayal of modernity and the capitalist systems it revolves around. Some people say the inspiration of his film was through his journeys several years beforehand, his journeys around Asia, and in particular the island of Bali where he visited. We start the exhibition off with this video monitor depicting scenes of Bali from 1932. Now these are taken by Charlie Chaplin during his time there and what I particularly like about the film footage is that you feel his presence both on and off camera. My favourite scene is when he's mimicking Balinese dancing. As you walk around the space and you look up, I've created a pink vinyl installation um, across the windows of the building. What I wanted to create was almost like a coloured sundial using the architecture of the building. And on a good day like today, you have light shining through, casting these really beautiful um, pools of coloured light onto the floor, onto the wall, onto the paintings. And I really like incorporating the concept of time into the gallery space. So as a viewer, you become aware of the sun setting from east to west and also the concept of universal time. Now, in terms of paintings, I've separated them into two series. The first series is a black and white series, which was inspired by the film Modern Times. So it's a tone of black, whites, greys. I was very much inspired by a particular scene in the film where Charlie Chaplin's character, The Tramp, gets swallowed up by a factory machine and his body is twists and turns inside through all these cogs and gears. And I wanted to capture this idea that the paintings could kind of look quite mechanical and a blueprint of something in the factory. Now, as you walk around the exhibition, you hear some bird noises. You're kind of wondering where it is. Now, the reason why I have bird songs playing in the exhibition is that in the film, on the times, there's a scene where Charlie Chaplin's character, the tramp, is in prison, and he wakes up to this really beautiful sound of bird noise. So I decided to incorporate sound within the exhibition. So in the same way that we have coloured light cutting through the architectural volume of the space, I wanted to do that also with sound. And for Charlie Chaplin's character, the tramp, the bird call was almost like a symbol of freedom, a symbol of being one at nature. Now let's walk over towards the mural that I painted. For me, it was very important to create a mural in the space somehow, and that's mainly because it touches upon and there's a nod to my public art practice, where I paint murals on very large spaces in urban settings, so that could be on bridges, on public spaces, in, uh, you know, wrapping around entire buildings. I really liked the staircase when I saw this. It reminded me of uh, architectural structure, which is the Penguin House in London Zoo, designed by a modernist architect, Lutkin, in 1934. Now, what I also really love about the Penguin House is that it's a symbol of both the successes and failures of modernity. So, on one hand, it exists as an architectural icon because it's so beautiful, um, but on the other, it failed in terms of housing uh, penguins because it was unhabitable for them. Now, in this gallery space, we're very, very fortunate to have a little outdoor space. And it was actually the curator, Guillaume Van Dam, who helped put the show together with me. Um, he suggested that we create a sculpture garden, um, sort of inspired by Sano Noguchi in New York. Now, in the sculpture garden, we have two 
um, pieces here. They are made out of brass and glass. Um, what I like about them is that when you have sunlight going through them, again, similar to the vinyl installation, um, it creates shadows and pools of light and refractions through the glass. I like the fact also that they remind me of something that could be made in the factory. Now, these sculptural pieces really contrast very nicely to some of my textile pieces, which are downstairs. Now, they are handmade, as opposed to these, which are mechanically made with a machine. They are woven, they're made in Bali using local materials. The dyes are made from local dyes in Bali. So it's been interesting working with a workshop in Bali to create these pieces. I guess I want people to feel very uplifted when they come to see the show. There's lots of materials and mediums that I'm playing with. We have painting, we have moving image, we have sound, we have coloured light, sculptures, textiles. So for me it's been really a great celebration in experimenting with all these different materials and mediums. Let's go back to Chaplin and his reasons for finding Bali a place for inspiration. So for Chaplin, Bali symbolised a society that was anti-modern. A lot of the daily activities that centred for the locals there was dancing, music, arts, everything revolved around religion and ceremonies, um, activities where people got together. And What's he saying in the film, Modern Times? He's saying that it's difficult to live and work and be in this kind of relentless cycle of living and working. It wears you down, it kills your soul. And for him, it was really important to be creative and to spend time reflecting and being with nature. In one of his letters to his friends, Charlie Chaplin writes about Bali, from these people, one gleams the true meaning of life, to work and to play. Play being as important to work to man's existence. So, that concludes my tour of my solo show exhibition here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me, the gallery, the programme that they do here. I hope to see you all very soon. Bye.